the next issue I found is, and I actually seen this from Sean was saying, that we need to vent these tanks. Um, if we start this machine and shut it off and I open this, you'll hear this go Pow! What can happen is it can blow out the sides if we don't do that. So I'm gonna put a vent in here. What I'm gonna use is just, I'm gonna use just a drill, obviously. And what I do with my piece of hose, I hate when I lose my hose. here it is right here all right so what I'm gonna use is, is I'm gonna drill me a hole into the tank and then I'm gonna shove this up through the hole and then this will stay down into the tank and then I'll just do a little loop-de-doop here that you'll be able to see and I'll need a, a zip tie to do this so that way it will keep the stuff from coming out but it will also help make it go down in there and keep it there and I will do need to do both um, so I'm gonna kind of go toward the front here Drill me a hole, start drilling back out of it, get rid of all my garbage so it don't go down in there. Hole will fit, it won't. I drill the next size down a little bit bigger. Too big, but I want it big enough so that way it will um, hold it there. So again, just big enough so it'll fit in there. What I'll do is I'll take this back out and I just use the unit bit for that. I'm gonna take this in here like so shove it down in the hole bring it up through all right maybe i won't do it that way i don't really want to drill that hole any bigger it ain't coming off let me see if i can get it up in that way again i might have to go one bit bigger before we go on any further if you would like to learn more about pressure washing and stuff like that I have a step-by-step -step course of how to do a pressure washing business. You can go check it out at pressurewashhelp.com or King of Pressure Washing. And there I have all the steps. In fact, one of the steps is, is building your own rig. And I teach you step-by-step -step of how to build a rig, reasons why we need to build a rig. And not only that, it is also the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. I give you all 26 steps to make sure that you do a perfect house wash every time and you do every step so that way you hit everything you need to do like marketing, like taking before and afters to cover your tail and all of that is detailed in there so make sure you go check that out. Just a, a snooze them. I don't want it yeah that's pretty good still so i'm gonna pull that all the way up to there yeah because that way it won't come out and then we'll do a little a little thing here and now we've made us a vent take us a zip tie and this way and like i said this is the water tank um versus the we might have to do another zip tie um, but this is the water tank so that way it can breathe but we also got to do the bleach tank too because when this gets hot it can swell and yes it has the vents in it but they're not working. I um, actually Sean Hodges from Arkansas Soft Wash said that he, that's how he does it, and so that's what I'm gonna do. And so that way we can make sure that these tent, tanks get vented, because what can happen is they can actually blow up, um, blow out, and that's not a good thing. So we don't want that to happen. So we want to make sure. In fact, you can see this tank here is already pushing out a little bit up here in the top. Um, so if we allowed that to do that, it would push out even more. So that's why we want to make sure that we do a vent on here so that way it doesn't cause us any issues later on down the road. Now, if you got the round tanks, the, square, the littler tanks, I've never had an issue with it. But these square tanks, um, they said they were having a little bit of issue with that. So that's what we want to do. So that's how we can make sure that we put a vent in it and we take care of a problem. When we have a problem, we find a solution and we take care of the problem. Just like when we're doing house washing. When people have a problem, you have the solution. That's why we charge what we charge and that's how we make money by doing what we do. So check out this playlist right here and to follow all my videos, I'll put a whole um, blog, I'll put a whole link of them to all of them for building this whole little skid unit here. So that way you can see all the ins and outs of building a rig.